Namaste ji this is Vishen welcome to my YouTube channel now the website that you are seeing in front of you is a food delivery website and we are going to learn how to create exactly this in this particular video so without any further ado let's get started with today's video all right wonderful let's get started with today's video we'll start by creating a frame okay let's select a macbook pro 16 frame we are also going to go ahead and give it some rounding say about 15 First, we'll start by creating the header menus. Okay, I'm going to go to the text, and for the header header menu, I'm going to select a style called as Irish Grover. Okay, all right, and uh, let's select the text. We are going to increase the font size to say about 40, and let's type in food for thought. So this this is going to act like our logo. Let's also go ahead and create some layout grid, and we are going to start with the column grid. I'm going to take a 12 column grid, and let's give it a difference of 45 pixels from left and right. Let's also add a row grid as well. We are going to keep it the same, 12 count with a difference of 45 pixels top and bottom. Let's go ahead, click on this one. We are going to align it properly right over here. And let's go ahead and create some more All right so these are all the menus and I'm just going to align this properly and I'm going to place it right about here We're also going to add a couple of icons one is going to be a bag icon which is going to act like a add to cart and we are also going to use a search icon let's go to our plugins we are going to go to iconify for that wonderful size is perfect let's go ahead and align it properly and we are going to align it in a straight line okay let's bring it over here now let's go ahead and create a auto layout out of all of these elements i'm going to hit shift a and that's going to give us the auto layout let's go ahead and select our layer and uh, if we increase the layer size if we increase the frame size you can see it's not fitting it completely and for that we can go ahead and click on wrap and click over here in the center double click it and it's going to wrap all the elements properly and this is how it's going to wrap it becomes it starts acting responsive okay so uh now let's go ahead and create a new rectangle and i'm going to take it off about this size and we are going to add a image from unsplash let's select a food image let's change the orientation to a landscape orientation i'm going to select this image wonderful and let's go ahead and create one more rectangle of say about this size we are going to add a text and we are going to add the name of a recipe over here and this is going to be the highest selling recipe in my restaurant so if you want you can go ahead and order this out okay for yourself as well <laughs> all right let me give it some rounding as well i am going to give it a rounding of 15 we are going to take our text and i am going to place it right about here let's change its size to maybe 32 I'm going to place it right about here. All right, wonderful. Now let me go ahead and duplicate a couple of copies of this text. Okay, we are going to select this text. Let's select this icon. We are going to use this icon. Going to decrease its size. Let's zoom in, decrease its size even more, and we are going to place it right about here, like a Easter egg, right? And I am going to choose an 
let me remove the grid and this is what we have created until now let me also go ahead and change the color of this rectangle to a color white now what we are going to do is we are going to create a play button over here and to do that it's quite simple and this one i'm going to give it a color of white okay let's select both of these items and we are going to turn it into a component and let's name it as play button okay now what we are going to do is we are going to select all of these items all of these elements and we are going to create a auto layout wonderful okay and after that let's make it center aligned so <clears throat> this is how our design looks so far let's also go ahead and create some more rectangles rectangle out of it and we are going to remove the image and place this back on top of our one of our rectangle okay wonderful now what we are going to do is let's remove our grid and we are going to turn the color of all of our rectangles to a color black and i'm going to show you why we are doing this okay and we're going to select all of these rectangles let's uh, reduce its opacity and i'm going to slightly reduce it to a lighter color also some more we are going to reduce its opacity some more and after that let's go ahead and select on the text we are going to type in so this is the design that we have just created it looks quite beautiful let us also center align these elements along with this okay let me zoom out of it center align it right about here let's select this element as well along with this and we are going to center align it properly okay wonderful let's select our frame and let's see if it's responsive or not okay there are few elements that are responsive not all the elements are responsive right so we are going to select on this one and let's make it responsive as well i'm going to keep it on the scale and let's try to work it out and see if it's responsive wonderful so these elements are responsive still gonna work on this one and let's keep it left and right so let's select our frame and let's see if it's responsive or not wonderful it does look absolutely responsive so let's go ahead and preview our website that we have created until now fantastic so this is the website that we have created in this video so that is it from this video if you like the video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and namaste ji this is vish i'll see you in my next video bye bye take care